requires negative 4 times negative 3 equal to 12. So let me show this on a calculator. So if you have a graphic or a simple calculator, if you type in negative 4 times negative 3 equals 12. Okay, so I want to explain the maths behind this. Okay, so before I explain the maths, so if someone is asking you what is negative 4 times 3, what does this mean? So this is the this is same as 3 times negative 4. Negative 4 times 3 is equal to 3 times negative 4. So this means, if you want to put this in words, so this, is, this means 3 lots of negative 4. 3 lots of negative 4. So how will you write that? 3 lots of negative 4 is negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4 is 12, negative 12, sorry. So if you have three lots of negative 4, it means negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4. I'll give you uh, one more example. Say, what does, say, 3 times 4 mean? This, you can say this is three lots of 4 or 4 lots of 3. I would call this 3 lots of 4. 3 lots of 4. And 3 lots of 4 is, of course, 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. Okay. So, multiplication is repeated addition. Okay. So, this is, so let us write that fact again. So, we know negative 4 times 3 is same as 3 times negative 4, which is same as asking 3 lots of negative 4 gives you negative 12. Okay, so this is a fact, so let, let us box this away. So this is something that we're going to use later. Okay, now what is, so let me use a white color. What is, say, say negative 4 times 0? Well, this is, you're multiplying 0 with a, 0 with any number is always 0. So 0 times, this is same as 0 times negative 4 is 0. Okay, so we're going to use these two facts to answer the question that we started with. Okay, so if, so you can say, so let me use a different color. Can I say uh, negative 4 times 0 is same as writing negative 4 times, let me use a times key. In place of 0, can I write this as 3 plus negative 3? So what I'm doing is 3, I can write as, sorry, 0, I can write as 3 plus negative 3. You add 3 to negative 3, that's going to be 0. Okay, so now using the distributive property, so this is same as writing negative 4 times 3. This is negative 4 times 3 plus negative 4 times negative 3. Okay, so we know the answer of this is 0. The answer of this is 0, so the answer of this would also be 0. Okay, so simplifying this further, can I say this is, or this implies, or this implies, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, plus something is to be 0. We know the answer is 0. So now you need to answer negative 12, plus what gives you 12? Well, it has to be 12, because negative 12 plus 12 gives you 0. That means negative 4 times negative 3. This means, okay, this means negative 4 times negative 3 has to be 12. And that's why when you multiply two negatives, you get a positive answer. 